Mm -hmm. what, what's going on in this kid's head? Well, it's so interesting. When I was first listening to him, I was like, oh, he's angry with women for rejecting him. And then I started to have a different idea. Is this somebody who's trying to fight against his homosexual impulses? Was he angry with women because they were taking away men from him? But this is a kid who couldn't connect and, and felt enraged and wanted to obliterate anyone that made him feel like a nothing. That's what this guy I felt like a nothing on, on, on the one hand, and then there was a grandiosity on the other hand where he's talking about how beautiful he is and how sophisticated he is, but clearly a very problematic guy with probably very early signs. I don't know. I haven't diagnosed him. Early signs of schizophrenia. That's what it sounds like. When, and you know, uh, Robbie, one of the things that he talks about in the manifesto was um, I, uh, uh, his mother, apparently, at the end of May, my mother told me uh, that I had to move to Santa Barbara on June 4th. Uh, it sounds a lot of this goes back to his own mother, and, you know, his killings were not just of women, but of men and women. Right, and, and I think, too, was he angry at the men for not choosing him? This was a kid who was just angry in general and probably felt rejected. He couldn't connect. He couldn't feel loved. He couldn't feel successful. Maybe he couldn't even okay. feel like a real man. All right, so if he